And we're back on the Fowler Show. Now, everybody's heard this story. The story's been making the news and making the rounds about Kiera Walmont. Um, and, or Wilmot, excuse me. Um, who is a teen who was arrested and expelled for a science project gone bad. This happened in Florida. Um, she's accused of mixing household chemicals in a small water bottle that later exploded at her high school. No one was hurt. Um, and the principal, Mr. Pitchard, said that she's a good kid and has never been in any trouble before. Um, she was forthcoming. She told the police everything that happened. She said, listen, I was doing this part of this experiment and it exploded. That's what it's supposed to do. It's chemical reaction. As you learn in this science and high middle school and high school and stuff, I, I remember we had to burn. I remember in particular we did is we burnt like, I forgot what you burn a chemical and then it turns yellow and whatever. I can't remember it. I haven't done science in so long. Um, but she was arrested and charged with possession of with possession and discharging of a weapon on school ground and discharging of a, a destru- and and discharging of a destructive device. Now, I'm with a lot of these people. So first things first, let's talk about the action here. What you can do to help um, Kiara is go to change.org and sign the petition um, that basically says that all the charges should be dropped. Um, Life should not be turned upside down. Her life should not be turned upside down. Her future should not be crushed because someone wants to make a statement. And that's exactly what's happening here. This particular state in Florida and city and county in Florida, or city and county, not state, rather, um, they are making a statement. And I think this has everything to do with the culture of, that we've created in this country after the Boston mass, after the Boston, the Boston bombing, and after Newtown shooting. Now, People can't even do science experiments without people trying to make examples of them. Now, in my mind, how I see this, the fact that this high school student knows what chemicals to put together to make an explosion is quite a, a good thing, right? Like, she understands chemical reactions. She'll probably make a great nuclear physicist one day. Probably a great value to society. Um, and, it, and she clearly states here that she wasn't doing any harm. She was doing a science project. She didn't want, and even the principal tells you, good kid, never been in trouble, ever. She told the authorities exactly what she did. I was doing my science my science project, which we were testing chemical reactions, and the chemicals that I used reacted. Nobody was hurt. No property was destroyed. Once again, a young, smart, African-American woman, I will call her a woman in this particular situation, trying to to do her science project and just being smart. And she gets punished for being smart. Yet, America. Yet, America, it's okay for people to carry. It's okay for, for kids to have my first rifle kits. You understand what's going on? I mean, I, I'm telling you, I think this country is really going to shit. Um, and the sad part here is as this country does that, People like Hiera get caught up in the mix, and it's rather sad. It's sad, and go to go. Please go to change.org and sign the petition.